So, I am teaching an augmented reality comics course at Portland Community College. And one of the things that I've really grown interested in is the applications of augmented reality in comics. And mainly because I feel like it is a way to create more immersive storytelling. And for me, as a, as a black creator, trying to find a way to get more black kids to read, uh, because it's just there's a disparity there in it and it perpetuates a lot of stuff right like i just got into medical school in order to do well on the mcat which is how you get into medical school which is a reading test you actually need to read and as i got a, as i got better as a reader then my scores got better and therefore i was able to actually get considered for medical school and so how do you make reading appealing books appealing to, to black kids that's that's really what I tried to do and through comics you could do that I know many people that you know freaking read one piece that are black you know love Dragon Ball Z that are black you know anime and stuff so how do you meet them where they're already at and and expose them to things technology all these different things that are around us and so I actually just started thinking about like AR comics augmented reality augmenting books and for there, literally creating portals, like panels in many ways. If you read the history of comics and, and how comics are used, there's a thing about the panel and there's a thing about composition and the gutter, the space between panels. Uh, and so what if the panel was the a window into the world? And what would that look like? What if things came out? What if you can look around the corner in order to actually create an experience that is impactful for the story? You know, you literally have something happening in the panel and you have to look around the corner of the panel to see something, a story element in it. You know, that's the power of AR. And so I've been exploring this whole idea of 
you know, creating creating volume and depth when, within an AR page and actually having an, a, a 3D scene. And through that 3D scene, you essentially have the portal be the, the panel. And and then what would the what does that look like? You know, what can be used? How can you how, how can you incorporate this stuff? So thankfully, the Unity Asset Store just has tons of stuff to do. You know, you can just get a whole bunch of assets and, and just kit bash this mess, right? And so that's what I did. I really just kit bashed the mess out of this and created this uh, these experiences. And obviously I have like eye clone and I have a mocap suit and I have all these other things to add animation and add, add character to these scenes, uh, bring those scenes to life. But it's really about adding volume and depth to it. And I think that's just so powerful. And and from there, I just I just worked at it. And so I took this idea of giving volume and depth to these experiences and I, I, I just put it to the test. I tested to see what the platform can do, you know, not only unity, but also like what you can handle with on a phone. And so one of these things is I'm going to try to have to I have to figure out how to do the whole asset bundling and addressable thing over the air. But um, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a very interesting situation to, to you know, explore with this. And so I'm super excited about this just because, you know, AR portals is sort of a thing that we know, but what does it look like within a book? What does it look like within art? You know, I am even thinking about like having a gallery, you know, of, you know, taking the art that we see and then having, having it augmented, but not, th not that sort of like, you know, that cheesy way where you have and, and I do it too. I'm not gonna lie. I do I do it too. But where you're taking a freaking page, right? You take a page and so instead of seeing through it as a portal, you actually just see the stuff on top of it. And that was a lot of the work that I was doing, right? But it doesn't feel natural, right? Like if you have a if you have some AR art and it's hanging on a wall, then if you put your phone up to it and you try to look at it then it's going to be everything's going to be you know looking from the ground you know from the top down and so you have to look at it like this in order for you to experience the scene but what if you keep the you keep the art vertical and then the stuff that you see on the page the augmentations they have depth to it right so you're actually seeing in the back of it and you're able to see sort of this is the picture frame and you see the depth that's in in behind that picture frame and including it like that that's that's such a natural feeling and that's something that you know you can approach it and you can design and develop that way and if you don't then man you know like it, it's it's just it's just mind-boggling how you know like these are sort of things that i explore and i and i i try to create and and share and you know that process is you know the process is the the that's the process right there it, it's it's you know just creating something that is creating something that is natural and and natural is is what i think people are looking for they understand what ar is they understand face filters and stuff uh and they understand the potential for ar they don't really know all that it's capable of but they they get it kind of when they see it they get it and so you know for this it's like the stuff that i'm seeing out here isn't as natural as it probably could be and i i always question why i just question why like why is it that these things don't feel natural these experiences don't don't work seamlessly with all the things that we're doing you know we have a smartphone and we walk we keep it with us all the time and if it was heavier we probably wouldn't keep it with us all the time so it's a it's a great weight it's a great size and it it we're able to manage a whole lot of stuff in our lives and so how can we create AR experiences that feel natural? And I think AR portals is, is a great way to do that. And so again, I appreciate everybody that sticks around for all the stuff. Uh, be sure to check me out in the Wall Street Journal Future of Everything Festival. That's coming up pretty soon uh, in mid-May. And then I will be, you know, starting medical school in, in August, which will be interesting. It will be, be a fun process. And... You know, you could support me at patreon.com slash illtopia. You could check me out at shop.com or shop.illtopia.com for getting any Illtopia merch. If you're so inclined to, 
you know, give me a like and a subscribe, hey, you know, I'll take it. Uh, check out PDX Black Rose, which is another one of my projects, and Black Superheroes Matter, which is another project as well. And uh, yeah, just really excited to, uh, really excited to just, you know, continue down this journey and uh, garner support along the way to just continue inspiring people. And so without further ado, you know, have a good one. Uh, be blessed and, uh, and adios. It's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, 12 can't really stop. Just don't still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot. In a yellow bucket with the mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sell. Hitting with the old well. Need a hundred milli on the low scale. On my worst night, on the best. Wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him. Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Got five on it. Yo, 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 this is Steve from Stuck on an Island. I definitely appreciate you taking the time to check out my work. Follow me on all the social nets. Be sure to check out my studio, Iltopia, on all the other platforms. And if you want to get some merch, check out shop.iltopia.com. <laughs>